Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain a South Korean zombie comedy film called The Odd Family, Zombie on Sale. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. The beginning of the movie shows us the news about a failed experiment done by a medicine company. The company manufactured something called Noinsulin as a cure for diabetes and illegally tested it on humans. But the experiment failed, and the medicine had mysterious side effects on people. One night, in a secret headquarters of the same company, a strange man emerges from under the ground. He is also an illegal test subject who has been infected into a zombie-like creature because of the medicine. The zombie walks into the darkness and reaches a small town called Pungsan. On a nearby road, a car swerves and stops abruptly. The couple inside it is catching their breath when a man approaches them and hooks a metal rod in their car. It turns out that the man is a mechanic named Jun Ghoul, and he deliberately caused the minor accident so he would get customers. Unaware of this, the couple let him take the car to his shop. The next morning, the couple gets the bill for the repair, which is way more expensive than it should be. Jun Gul's pregnant wife, Nam Ju, is in charge of collecting money from the customers. When the man tries to accuse them of overcharging, Jun Gul's daughter, Hai Gul, comes out with a butcher knife. The gesture does the job, and the couple quickly pays and leaves. Nam Ju keeps all the money safely in a box, while Jun Gul doesn't even get to see it. In the following scene, the zombie is walking on a road, looking for people to feed on. He sees two women and tries to get to them, but they simply dodge him. As we see him fail to bite people, it becomes clear that this man is unlike your average dangerous zombie. Even the little kids hit him with stones and tease him about his looks. He then comes across a stray dog and tries to eat it, but in turn gets chased himself. The locals watch him running from the dog in confusion. Meanwhile, at Jun Gul's home, his father, Mandiok, is playing cards with his friends, as usual. He hears a dog barking loudly outside the house and walks out to chase it away. Unknown that the zombie is inside the bathroom, Mandiok goes in and is attacked. The zombie manages to bite the old man and runs away after. On his way, he comes across Hai Gul, who hits him in the crotch. They both are then chased by the same stray dog again. While trying to run away, they reach the village's border and meet Hai Gul's uncle, Min Gul. He is returning to the village after being fired from his job in the city. Eventually, all three of them are chased by the dog. Hai Gul falls on the road, making it easy for the zombie to get her. But just before he is about to attack the girl, a car hits him and sends him flying to a field. The zombie miraculously survives and runs away. Later, Grandfather Mandioc returns from the hospital after getting his wound bandaged. We get to know that Mandioc's only wish in life is to visit Hawaii someday. He even has pictures of Hawaii on his wall and wears a Hawaiian shirt most of the time. That night, he sits in front of a fan, feeling abnormally hot. In the meantime, the zombie is still being chased by the dog around the village. Hai Ghoul hears a noise coming from the garage. She and Mandioc go to check for the intruder and discover the zombie hiding inside. Mandioc hits him with a spade, taking his revenge. Jun Ghoul also arrives there and strikes the zombie with a flying kick. Eventually, the whole family gathers in the garage and goes full world star on the zombie. They assume that it is dead. They look at him closely and realize he is not a normal human being. Suddenly, the zombie comes back to life, startling the family. They hurry outside and lock him in the garage. Min Goon finally tells the others that the man might be a zombie and shows them a clip from the movie Train to Busan. The family knows that the person who is bitten by a zombie turns into one of them. So, without Mandioc knowing, the mother, Nam Ju, knocks him out with a frying pan. They lock the man inside his own trailer for their safety. The next day, Min Gul does some research on zombies and finds out a lot about them. He explains to the others that a person bit by a zombie dies and comes back to life again. They like to eat human brains, hence the zombie in the garage likes cabbage because he mistakes it for a brain. Min Gul proposes to kill Mandioc before he kills them. As the family talks, Mandioc gets out of the trailer and enters the house. A stunned Min Gul hits him on the head but is scolded by the rest of the family. After that, Hai Gul names the zombie Chong Bi and treats him like a pet. Nam Ju realizes that he is not really harmful but takes all of his teeth out as a precaution. 
The following day, to everyone's surprise, Mandioc doesn't convert into a zombie. In fact, he starts to turn younger because of the infection. His old friends see him peeing like a young man and beg him to tell them the secret of his newfound youthfulness. One of them, who is getting married soon, offers Mandioc a ticket to Hawaii in return for the secret. Hearing this, Mandioc tells him about Chong Bi. Their conversation is heard by Min Goon, who plans to sell Chong Bi for money. Meanwhile, Mandioc packs his luggage, getting ready for his trip when his other friends knock on his door. It turns out that all of his friends know about Chong Bi, and everyone wants to pay to be bitten. Mandioc happily takes them to the garage, only to see Chong Bi is missing. Then, we see Min Goon driving Chong Bi towards Seoul, where he plans to sell him to a Viagra company. On his way, Min Goon is pulled over by the police for speeding. The policemen recognize him because they are from the same village. After talking for a while, they hear a noise from the back and reveal a tied up Chong Bi in the trunk. Both Min Goon and Chong Bi are then taken to the police station. The police take the tape off Chong Bi's mouth and see he has no teeth. Right then, Mandioc arrives at the station and claims Chong Bi to be his son. At night, Hai Goon gives Chong Bi a cabbage to eat, but he cannot eat it because of his missing teeth. Mandioc gets to know about this and is equally surprised. His friends arrive there to get bitten and bring their youths back. Mandioc thinks of a plan and brings fake teeth for the man, finally starting a business. It's kinda like a lemonade stand, but kinky. His friends are shocked by the first few bites, but they eventually get used to it. At the end of the day, Namju keeps the profit they made safely inside a box. The following day, everyone who got bitten runs around happily, delighted to have their youth back. However, a surprised Namju finds their box of money empty. It turns out that Mandioc has taken all of the money and has gone for a trip to Hawaii. Meanwhile, the news about Chong Bi spreads throughout the village. More and more people run to Jun Gul's house. Eventually, their profit skyrockets as trucks full of people start coming to get bitten. A few days later, they renovate Mandioc's trailer for Chong Bi. They even buy him a new set of teeth, which he uses to eat cabbages. One day, Hai Gul takes Chong Bi to a barber shop and gets him cleaned up. Chong Bi looks like a handsome young man after getting a haircut. He and Hai Gul have started falling in love, so Hai Gul feels bad about her family using him for money. One night, Hai Gul hears her brother Min Gul talking to someone about selling Chong Bi. The very next day, she brings Chong Bi to a forest and asks him to run away and live freely. However, Chong Bi, who has also started liking her and doesn't mind making bank for biting people, doesn't leave. Meanwhile, at Mandioc's friend's wedding, the villagers who had been bitten start to feel very hot. They eat like they are starving and act strange in general. At the same time, Min Gul notices Chong Bi missing from their home. He runs to look for him, planning to sell him for a large amount of money. A while later, he finds Chong Bi right where Hai Gul had left him and takes him to the bus station. Back at the wedding, the priest asks the bride and groom to kiss, but the man instead bites his wife. It turns out that everyone Chong Bi has bitten has turned into zombies. Chaos ensues at the wedding as the guests turn into zombies. The virus spreads rapidly and people at the bus station start to bite each other as well. Soon, the streets of the village are filled with zombies as they take over humans. One zombie gets inside the garage and attacks Hai Gul. She runs to her parents asking for help. Just then, a policeman arrives at the scene trying to solve the conflict but instead is bitten by the man. This zombie doesn't want cabbage, he wants bacon. The family realizes what is going on and runs inside the house to save their lives. They shut the doors and windows and read a zombie survival book that Min Gul has written. They misinterpret some parts of the guide, but at last create a make-do armor from utensils. Back at the bus station, Min Gul somehow survives and drives back to his home, leaving Chong Bi behind. On his way, he sees that almost everyone from the village has turned. A while later, the zombies manage to break into the house and chase the family away. Namju is almost caught by them, but she somehow gets her box of money and flees. Right when the family hides in the garage, Mingul arrives with a bunch of firecrackers. He lights them up and attacks the group of zombies, but doesn't know the fact that he is shooting at a petrol station. He quickly gets out of the car to stop the fireworks, but the car bursts into flames right after. This attracts the zombies' attention, making them hurtle towards the burning car. More firecrackers explode in the sky that the creatures watch in fascination, almost as if they are hypnotized by it. Right then, Namju's water breaks and she starts to give birth. 
Jungul and Mingun dress up in Changbi's clothes and go outside acting like they are zombies as well. They manage to make it to the car but forget the keys inside. When the car's lights glow, the zombies are again attracted towards them. The two freeze in fear inside the car as the creatures surround them. To save them, Hai Ghoul comes outside with a grass cutter and attacks the group. However, she is soon overpowered by them. Right when they are about to kill her, Changbi comes to her aid. Amidst the chaos, one zombie moves some wires, causing the electric signs to light up. This distracts all other zombies, making them leave Changbi and Hai Ghoul alone. Taking the opportunity, Mingul leaves the car to get the car keys from inside the house. But before he can make it inside, the lights turn off abruptly and the zombies turn towards him. At that moment, the sound of Namju's baby crying is heard. Mingul fights the zombies, not caring about his own life, to get to the car keys. The baby and Namju are inside the trailer, which is attached to the car. Jun Gul is in the car, ready to drive away, while Hai Gul and Chong Bi fight the zombies to keep them back from the trailer. Ming Gul finally manages to get the keys and throws them at Hai Gul outside. The family finally drives away, leaving Chong Bi and the zombies behind. At last, Chong Bi lights a fire, causing an explosion that blows up the petrol pump. The next morning, Jun Gul wakes up and, to everyone's surprise, has turned into a zombie. The family locks him inside the car and runs outside. As they discuss their next move, the sound of someone coming towards them through a tunnel is heard. A happy mandioc arrives from his trip to Hawaii with a tan, oblivious to what has happened to his village. They are confused why he hasn't turned into a zombie like everyone else. Then, the car's radio announces the news of the virus being spread throughout Korea. The reporters claim that some people are immune to the virus, and they are also the antidote to turn zombies back into humans. Hearing this, Mingul gets another idea. He plans to turn Mendioc's immunity into another business. It is now six months later. The zombie virus has spread throughout Korea, but the family is doing better than ever. Mandioc bites people for a living, turning them back into humans. Changbi has also turned into a human because of the same method. The movie ends as a long line of zombies stand before the family's trailer to get cured. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.